Hey guys, Ryan here at Rode Microphones, and in this video, we'll be talking about the Rode iXLR. It is an XLR to lightning adapter designed specifically with iOS devices in mind. The iXLR has a very high quality digital conversion on board so that you can bypass the onboard conversion of your iOS device, getting the highest quality possible signal. It converts at 24-bit 96 kilohertz, which is a broadcast quality format, making sure that you get the best signal possible every time you record. For longer recording times, you can also down convert the signal using the companion app that we've released at the same time. On the front of the unit, you'll see the volume control here, which is designed to control the headphone output volume. The headphone output has been designed with zero latency, so with the headphone output on the iXLR, you can actually listen live the entire time you're interviewing with a discrete earpiece and make sure that that microphone is in the perfect position. So let's have a look at the iXLR with the Rode Reporter microphone. Now the Reporter microphone is the ideal microphone to use for handheld interview scenarios. It's a dynamic microphone, so it doesn't pick up a lot of the background noise in the space. And it's also omnidirectional, meaning that it picks up all around the microphone, ensuring that you can keep that microphone relatively central between the interviewer and the interviewee and get a very nice even signal the entire time. If we connect that up to the iXLR, you can see that it simply plugs in the bottom there and you've got this very nice discrete setup that you can use for recording. So at the same time, we're releasing a companion app with the iXLR called Rode Reporter. It's free on the App Store and it's designed with the absolute simplicity of recording in mind. On the face of the iXLR, you'll actually see this little red dot at the center of the volume control. This is designed so that you can simply start or stop the recording by pressing this control on the front of the iXLR and you don't have to constantly have your device in your hand to check that you're recording. Now at the top of the iXLR, we have an indicator LED that shows you when the iXLR has power, when it's recording, or when it's actually paused. So at the moment, you can see it's been plugged in, it's ready to record, and I'll simply press the record button and you'll get a little flash and now it's red. The red signifies that the Rode Reporter app is actually recording. If I press it again, it'll flash from red to yellow to let me know that it's actually paused. So that means that if there's a break in an interview or if I want to clarify a point with the person that I'm interviewing, I can quickly pause the recording, ask them a couple of quick questions off camera, and then start once again without having any interruption in the recorded signal. So let's press the button one more time and you can see it's gone back to recording on the same track. Now to end your recording, you simply press the end button at the top corner of the screen and it's actually saved that recording. So if we have a look at the interface of the reporter app itself, you can see that when you first open it up, it's got a very, very easy interface. It's a simple record button that you press and it controls the actual recording in the same way that the button on the front of the iXLR does. So if we pause that recording again, you can end it and there you go, you set up back at the start screen. Now just below that record button, you'll see this little flag logo. Now the flag has been designed so that you can actually import your own logo, whether it's for your YouTube channel or if it's a TV channel or radio station logo, just so that if you're using the device in hand, you can have a little bit of branding on screen as well. If we go over to the settings page, you can see that when the iXLR is connected to the reporter app, you have a minus 20 decibel pad available for when you're recording with a very loud sound source coming in. And you also have a high pass filter, which will cut out some of that low frequency rumble or handling noise that you may get if you're in an environment that's got a lot of low frequency noise. There's a dark mode available on the interface in case you're recording at nighttime and you want to have something a little bit more discreet. You'll also see a prevent auto lock function, which basically stops the device from locking unless you physically turn the device off yourself. Now there's a bunch of different recording qualities available. As I mentioned, it's a 24-bit 96 kilohertz conversion, but if you wanted to run a lower definition version, you can run a 48K 16-bit WAV file just for a little bit of a longer recording time. We also have compressed formats available for very long record times where you can actually choose your different rates of compression. You can choose either AAC or MP3 files, and then you can choose a bit rate from 128 kilobits per second to 320 kilobits per second. And from there, you can actually enable a variable bit rate, which will use that reference value. And then any time that there's a bit of silence in the signal or something like that, it'll actually lower the bit rate, giving you even longer recording times with lower file sizes. And then at the bottom of the settings page, you've got the option to choose a new flag so that you can remove the road logo there and place your own logo up on the screen. So if we look at the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see you have your library where you have all of the different recordings that you've placed in a simple list. You can play them back, rename them, remove them from your list, or you can actually share them natively with all of the apps available on your phone that can use that particular file type. 
The Rode Reporter app is compatible not only with the iXLR, but it's also compatible with any audio source working with an iOS device, whether it's your smart lav, your iXY, or even the inbuilt microphone on the device itself. So there you have it guys, that is the Rode iXLR and the Rode Reporter companion app that's available on the App Store right now.